So tonight I was imaging and I came up with a, an icon on the screen that I don't see very often and I wanted to talk about it. You know, I up in the top right hand corner, there's this red glaring icon and, you know, we've all learned that red is never good. You know, you avoid red bugs. They're poisonous. You know, red is never good. It's usually a problem. And so we don't want to ignore this icon, but let's talk about what it is. So I have stopped the imaging that I was doing, and then we come back to this main screen. And that icon has disappeared. That's because I'm not imaging currently. Um, but what I want to talk about is what that icon means. And it's a little square box thing. I'll enlarge the image so you can see it. Um, but what it is telling me is that there's a memory problem and red it means stop so you know it's not that the machine is going to blow up or anything but what it's telling you is you're going to be wasting your time if you keep imaging because you haven't cleared the memory off of your c-star and we're getting too full to save any more or very much more of the images that you're imaging so don't set up a plan and run it for six hours and then not expect to get up in the morning and find out that it stopped a half hour in because you didn't have enough memory. So how we know this is we can go to the main screen of our C star. I am connected to the C star and I'm just gonna click on the C star. And then there's that nasty icon right there in the middle of the screen. Well, it's kind of in the top half of the screen is that red icon and is telling me that I only have 260, Let's see, 26 gigabytes are free. If I click on that, it will take me to the memory storage and tell me that I have used that yellow line is what I have used. And the blue is the files that are needed to run the C star. Well, we don't, I don't want to format the C star. I don't want to wipe off those system files or the C star can't run. So all I want to do is clear off some of the images that I have saved there. So let's go back in here. Let's go to the main screen. If I click on my album, these are um, the images that are saved, but the how I find out what's saved on the C-Star is I click the little C-Star icon in the top middle, and then it takes a minute to load it. It's taking a little bit when it loads like that because I've got so many on there. So you see, I have a whole bunch of things on there and I have just been neglecting cleaning up the storage on the C-Star and so that's what it's telling me I need to do so um, maybe I think what we'll do is we'll go through how to do that if you already know how to do that I've done a previous video on it but I'm going to include it here in case there are new people that haven't learned how to do this and want to learn uh, but otherwise, we're just going to talk about storage in this video. So um, I'm going to flip some screens and maybe do it on my computer so you can see from that angle. But we're going to show you how to remove those excess files off of the C-Star. Okay, so I have stopped started recording it on my PC. So the sound may be a little bit different just because of how the different recording software works. Um, what I'm doing is I, I've gotten into my PC and I have clicked on this little button down here that has all my files in it. And what comes up is over on this um, side, I can see all of the files on my computer. If I click on this PC here, it brings up this local disk C. And you can see I'm actually pretty full on my PC as well. But when I plug in my C star, the C star is powered on. Um, now let's go to that PC thing and you see that the C star is red here. Another pesky red warning. And so what I want to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm going to click on. Um, so let me back up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to click on the C star. So just double click on that and it opens the files that are saved on the C star. And the one with all of the files is my works. And that's kind of like my album. And you can see here that I have 
74 items in this folder. And this is what is being saved currently on the C star. So all I'm going to do is I am going to click my left mouse and highlight it and then scroll up and it will make all of those blue. Another way you can do it is on this screen, hold down your control button and click the A button and it turns them all blue. And so that is just selecting the files that you want to move. Now let's, um, I want to cut these and I'm going to paste them into a folder on my PC. So I'm going to go into my local PC. This is a folder I had set up previously and I just have a folder called C star and it has a whole bunch of objects in it, but this is on my computer itself. Um, it's actually in my Dropbox is where I have saved them all. And then I'm just going to have my icon here and I'm going to hold down the control button and click the V button or paste. And it's going to calculate out how long it's going to take for me to cut those files off of the C star and move them onto my computer. And it says it's going to take about 40 minutes to do that. Well, I, you don't want to sit here and watch that 40 minutes, but that's how you do it. So let me go back in while it's running, and I'll show you again how I did that. So I'm going to go down here, show you the files on my computer. I have the C drive that is running my computer, and then I plugged in the C star, which is turned on, and now it connects as a D drive, which is my C star. I double click on that. And then I click on my works and then that opens all of those folders that are saved currently on my C star. And there's quite a few of them. So now I'm going to um, hold down the control button and click the A key and that will highlight them all. Another way you can do it is just come down here to the bottom or the top and then hold down your left mouse button while you scroll and it will also highlight all of those. Then I'm gonna hit the cut button. I'm not actually gonna click it this time since it's already running, but I'm gonna cut those files off of my C star, which is this folder right here. And then I'm going to go into the folder that I have for my C star files. And now in here, I'm just gonna hold down the control button and click the V, which is paste. So we've cut those files off of the C star and we're going to paste them into this Dropbox documents folder. So that is how you do the file transferring. And you can see that it's, it's still going to take quite a while. It's only 5% complete. It had 28, almost 29,000 files on it. And that's how I'm going to remove those files from the C star. Since I cut them and pasted them, it will remove those files from the C star once it pastes it into this Dropbox folder that I have created. If you were to copy them, let's go back and I'll show you where that is. So let's go to the C star. Let's see the, the My Works. If you were to select them all and then click this button right here that is Copy, and paste, it would leave them on the C star and just copy those files and paste them onto your computer. Some people like to do it that way and then go in and remove them. Um, I Either way works just fine. I find the cut and paste works fine. And you'll notice that when I go back to the C drive, it's already begun doing that file transfer. It's done 8% of the file transfer so far of those 29,000 or close to 29,000 files, 8% is done. And it's already made the C star's memory less. So it's no longer red because it, it turns red when it's getting near its capacity. And it's cutting those files that it's already worked on and pasted them into my computer and removed them from the C star. So this, this line will continue to go down this way and you you can see the progress there 
You can also hover over this file button down here and then kind of hover over this box and it will tell you how many are completed. It will tell you an estimate the time of how long it's going to take. Um, but that's how you transfer files from the C-Star to your computer. Now, what are you going to do with those files once they're on your computer? Um, I've clicked on the, my Dropbox folder and my C-Star folder because that's where I'm saving them is in this Dropbox and the Documents folder. And then I labeled one of the folders C-Star and that's where I paste them all. Well, once they're in here, all you have to do is, let's find one that's um, got files in it. You click on that folder and there are those files that were on the C star at one point. These are the actual JPEG files that have been stacked already. That's why these files say stacked. It tells me, so this one has stacked 116 of C7 under 10 second exposures. And then it, it gives you some little information there, the date and things like that. This one is stack 235 of C7 under 10 second exposures. And so there is some information in the file name that, that can be beneficial too. Um, so if you, if you need to find the files by name, you can still do that. And so all we're doing is clearing up the memory on the C star so that it can save more in the future. So that's how you transfer those files from the C star to your computer. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. Hope that scary icon doesn't come up and it feels kind of like when your check engine light goes off on your car. It's that first initial time you see it, it feels kind of panicky, but don't panic. There's a reason it's there and it's to just give you a heads up that you've got to clear that off so that you don't waste some time imaging. Nothing will blow up, but I hope it's been educational and helpful. Uh, feel free to message me with questions. I know Mac computers run a little bit differently, but it's the same concept. You just need to have a folder on your computer and transfer those files from the C-Star drive to that computer drive. And hopefully everyone can um, do that on their own. If you're unsure on a Mac, um, I don't have a Mac, so I can't really show you how to do that. But if you were to go into Google, just say, how do I transfer files to a Mac computer? It will Google search the infinite wisdom of Google and tell you how to do that if, if it's not clear and obvious to you. Anyway, thanks for watching and we're wishing clear skies for everyone.